You know, this isn't about being cynical, but when you take a deeper look at the government of Canada, you just can't help but get really distrustful of the Trudeau liberals with their never-ending avalanche of corruption, lies, and competence. And now we've got more revelations, which of course would eventually connect the dots as to the reason for the death of independent reporting in Canada among the legacy media. Apparently, it has been discovered that Justin Trudeau had actually showered TV stations with millions of dollars of hardworking Canadian taxpayers' funds. Of course, it's more people and the media paid off by the Trudeau Liberal government. And it now makes sense why they are biased in Justin Trudeau's favor and would do everything to repeatedly push Trudeau's ridiculous propaganda till it makes the majority of Canadians sick to their stomachs. Well, it appears the greedy radical left media like heroin junkies will most probably print anything and say anything to please their agenda pusher Trudeau as long as he keeps funneling the taxpayer's money to them to pay for his propaganda brainwashing agendas. And of course, there's much more to today's story, so stay around and watch this video till the end. We're here again on another of the Trudeau liberals' bullshit and hypocrisies. To all our returning viewers, you all are really appreciated, and if today is your first time watching our channel, you're highly welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media. Please take a moment to support us by subscribing and liking this video and our other videos. Also, your views are highly valued, so please ensure to drop your opinions in the comment section below. You might as well consider turning on your post notifications so you never miss out on any of our regular video updates, where we bring you shocking news revelations you won't get from the legacy media. That said, let's quickly continue. Well, it would be rather shocking and at the same time, interesting to know that the Trudeau Liberal government gave television stations almost $104 million in taxpayer subsidies during the pandemic. According to recent reports, the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission claimed that the funding was allegedly provided in the form of waivers to federal licensing fees and for the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy. Inferring from the annual highlights of the broadcasting sector, apparently over 75% of assistance in 2021 was in the form of the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy. And during this period, arguably $36.5 million in annual fees were waived by the Trudeau Liberals. Meanwhile, the report also revealed that the number of Canadians tuning into television broadcasts has equally declined in a rather drastic manner. Apparently, overall average hours spent watching traditional television services has decreased, with the number of people watching English-language programs falling by 18.8%, while those watching French programs had dropped by 9%. Speaking on this, the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission mentioned that the two most recent broadcast years were marked by several and varied instances of societal and business shutdowns in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, and that had resulted in significant declines in the advertising revenues of the traditional commercial broadcasting sectors and increased uptake by Canadians of online broadcasting content. And here's where it gets rather more interesting. In July, the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission indicated that the Canadian legacy media apparently would have three years to determine how to fix its outdated business model in the face of competition from the big techs. And that supposed fixing would most probably involve the Trudeau Liberal government giving the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission power to regulate online content through Bill C-11. You all will recall that the controversial Bill C-11, which allegedly aims to update the Broadcasting Act to current digital standards, has been repeatedly slammed by well-meaning critics as an overreach and a potential major threat to the right to freedom of expression of the people of Canada. During testimony in the House of Commons, Chairman of the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission, Ian Scott disclosed that Bill C-11 would give the CRTC the powers to regulate even user-generated content like home videos. Scott mentioned that Section 4.2 allows the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission to prescribe by regulation user uploaded content subject to very explicit criteria. Apparently, Section 4.2 of the bill allows the CRTC to issue regulations on social media companies that could affect the reach of content due to the favoring of some content over others. In other words, the Commission could, for instance, issue specific rules with respect to discoverability and could also give regulations that deal with responding to certain concerns on accessibility. But in a rather suspicious manner, Scott's testimony appears to be a completely different narrative in comparison to the statements made by Liberal Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez about two months ago. Rodriguez had made assurances that the issues in previous versions of the bill were fixed and that the provisions of the bill were apparently targeted at corporations, not individuals. In Rodriguez's words, we made it very clear in the Online Streaming Act that this does not apply to what individual Canadians and creators post online. No users, no online creators will be regulated. 
No digital first creators, no influencers, no cat videos. Only the companies themselves will have new responsibilities. And on another end, there have been several debates over how much power is being entrusted to the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission with the passage of Bill C-11 by the Trudeau Liberal government, with many individuals pointing to the fact that the legislation's broad language apparently allows the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission to exert control far beyond the scope described by the government. But of course, it isn't surprising that the Canadian populace has been lied to once again by the Trudeau Liberals. Eventually, if the legislation isn't rewritten, the freedom of expression of the majority of the citizens would apparently be sabotaged by the explicit use of its provisions. And what's rather worse is the fact that Justin Trudeau's showering of the legacy media with millions of Canadian taxpayers' dollars like it belongs to him is clearly the beginning of not just controlling what the Canadian populace can watch but also what citizens can share with other people online. This is the bullshit happening to the people's constitutional freedoms. I think Canadians need to wake up to the subtle actions of the Liberals at forcibly controlling Canadians, dictating what they can do, and not the online space that's apparently free for everyone. And that's all I've got for you today. Please, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as possible, and drop your opinion in the comment section below. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.